Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to another video on partial fractions uh, using Mathematica. So, um, hope you're having a good Friday. So, yeah, what I'm gonna start off doing is um, assigning a variable to the function. So, um, function will be, I'll call it y, and then uh, it'll be 2x minus 4, and divide. Yeah, divided by uh, x to the power of 4 so minus 3x squared plus 1 so that's my function y and then I want to convert that to partial fractions so up part and y so here we are and then um, I'm also going to differentiate uh, that function y and then also uh, integrate it and then also plot the graph. So, so differentiate y with respect to x. Okay, and then integrate it as well. So integrate y with respect to x. Then I'm also going to plot that function as well. So plot just a normal 2D graph. Um, y with my uh, x values taking minus 10 to uh, roughly okay, 5 that would do so that's the plot of that graph um, of the function and then um, I'm going to do another partial function as well so uh, I'm going to call it g um, so 2x cubed and then uh, 3x squared right and then a pot so that converts that to uh, partial fractions and um, it's just quite simple in anyway, using Mathematica to do partial fractions and then what I'll do is I'll just do the same stuff as well as differentiate um, my function g with respect to x then integrate it as well and then plot the function as well So x will take uh, the values of uh, minus 10, I'll just use the same ones, and of 5. It's a cool plot. Okay, yeah, so this was just a quick um, a quick tutorial. Um, partial, when you want to do partial functions, this is the function that you'd use, that part. So that's the syntax that you'd use for uh, converting uh, uh, functions into partial fractions. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. So I am... Um, on a lighter note, enjoy your Friday. Have a good weekend. Cool guys. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.